Here we go. It's gold! It's really gold! Alright, you know, this thing really reminds me of awesome power. Look at the cigar wrapping, it's perfect! Yeah, you want Tastes like grape. And a little bit grapey. Yep, yeah, that's the... That's the same taste! This thing is so hard to keep lit. It's ridiculous hard to, to smoke this cigar. I don't even think this is meant to be smoked. Wait. Okay. Let's go. Every single day Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, we got something a little bit more special. It's going to be a double review with Smoke One if you have one. Eric, he sent this to me a while back. And I asked you guys if you want to see a cigar review on it. And at least 20 of you says yes. So, in celebration... Of this big win against the FDA for the cigar industry. So, fuck you, FDA. And congratulations, the cigar industry. We are going to smoke a and review a special cigar. All right. And I also have a good drink to go with it. So, this is what we're doing today. Daniel Marshall. The N24K... There you go, 24 carats, golden torpedo, 2011. Size is the same thing. I'm trying to get the angle so you guys can see all the words. And there is a autograph on the side that says 2011. So they made a bunch of this in 2011. Now, based on the information that I see, they made these kind of try to, you know, be like a movie-esque ultra premium cigar. These are MSRP at $200. Um, and they make, what, 250 total cigars or something like that? It's a number release, but this one doesn't say the number. I don't know. And these are supposedly Torpedo, six and a quarter by 54. Uh, it's a Nicaraguan Puro. Made by Placencia. What a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. Right? So, <clears throat> supposedly they make this kind of be like a, a movie-esque thing. And, um, you know, they came with a coffee table book. It has a lot of pictures of people, like famous people smoking this. I actually don't remember where I get the books. But yeah, when Eric sent me that package, it's got a book. It's got this. It's Yeah. So... But the important part is the cigar. So let's get with the cigar. Here's a seal. Got to rip that seal apart now. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Daniel Marshall personally has rolled a cigar in pure 24 karat gold that he buys from the world's oldest gold beater in Italy. Each cabinet is hand-signed, and it is in Daniel Marshall's wish for this Champagne of cigars to enhance life's golden moment. And uh, the other side, I think, is in Spanish or whatever. In Italian, maybe. And that's the English side. Okay. Free a friend and read it yourself. Okay. Anyways. So that part is that. Let's see. take a look. 
There we go. It's gold! It's really gold! Love gold! The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. Alright, anyways. Let's take a look. Now, this is not the first time I tried to do gold and cigar together. And I remember the last time, it's just, it won't let, it just tastes like metal and I don't know. It's not the best experience. So hopefully this thing, you know, which being the OG of gold cigars, it's really worth it. Because here's the thing about this kind of stuff, right? Once you smoke it, all you have is this to prove that you smoked it. All you have is this to prove that you smoke it. And it's like, it lost its value, you know? It's an it's expensive cigar, it, you know, and, and it... It's a gold that never gonna get back to earth. You know, gold is a limited resource. It's in my precious metal. If not precious metal. Um, you know, and once you smoke it, it's gone. So I don't really know what you think of this, you know? I, I don't you know, I, I wanna smoke it, and but then once you smoke it, it's like this thing just lost all of its value in an hour or so. Anyways, let's open this up. Cut it, light it, pretend that we are a millionaire. You know, this thing really reminds me of awesome power. All right. Yeah, it's gold. <laughs> it's gold. It's gold foil. And there's nothing special about gold. You can't eat gold. Gold is uh, it's non-toxic, to be honest. But really, there's no um, proof that gold is toxic to you if you light it up. I don't know. You see, here's the thing. Supposedly, real gold, the more you burn it, the more it melts, and the more it shines. So, kind of like burning through gold should be impossible. So, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm really like... But, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth. It does feel like, like gold foil. Um, Look at the cigar wrapping is perfect. Yeah, it was, well, what, obviously you wrap through it. There, there, there is no way to tell whether or not the cigar is perfectly raw or not. But isn't it weird to smoke a cigar like that? It doesn't even feel like a cigar. You know, like I, I don't know if you guys can tell I'm like procrastinating and wasting time because it feels good. It feels like a collectible, but I really don't want to smoke it, but I have to smoke it. Because that's the only way to review, and I, I, actually, that is the only way to know whether or not this thing has taste at all. So, let's go. I can't even tell where the cap is. So, I'm going to grasp it somewhere here. It feels so weird. Yeah, because the goal is smooth. Tastes like grape. And a little bit grapey. It's like a cedar slash sweet grape candy-ish like taste. Alright. So shall we go with the premium lighting? Yes, we shall. We shall premiumly light this thing. Oh my god. My fan says no. So I'm gonna tell my fan to shut up. You gotta win. Alright, let's try again. I don't know what you think. Yep, it looks just like how I wrap my own cigars into gold and light it up.
Yeah, that's the, that's the same taste. Mm hmm. Yep. But you can tell it's real gold because the more you burn, the brighter it's supposed to be. And that it is. So. Basically, cedar and bitter. M mineral bitter. And pepper. Oh, yep. That's how I remember. $200 cigars. Ooh, all right. This cigar, I can predict, is not going to stay lit, just like my previous one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to find some clip of how I smoked the golden wrapping cigar that we did uh, with some other cigars that we did. I think I rolled, uh, yeah, I rolled gold leaf over filthy viking and try to let it and it does not want to stay let and this one's kind of like that the draw is fine but holy shit it tastes bad we'll see let me smoke slowly for one third of it at least i have a good drink yeah thank you at least have a good drink let me smoke one third of it and we'll come back. We'll talk about this thing. I I suspect this is going to take me all night to smoke. So, yeah. We'll be right back. I, I don't think this is one third. You can't really tell, but you can see the line. It's about one third. This thing is so hard to keep lit. It's ridiculous hard to, to smoke this cigar. I don't even think this is meant to be smoked. But well, you can tell it's real gold because once you burn it, the ash is gold. Okay. And, um, yeah, it tastes like, eh, it tastes like metal. It tastes like cedar. It tastes, it tastes bad. <laughs> it tastes bad. It's more like a status symbol thing. I, you know, I, it reminds me of the time where I wrap my cigar in gold and try to smoke it. Very, very horrible burn. Very hard to smoke. Doesn't taste good. Metallic and cedar. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'll continue to smoke. Hopefully, I can get to. I can finish this soon. I'm just praying I can finish this soon. Oh, I'll be back. I'm gonna call this a two third, only because I'm only gonna spend, smoke up to the band. I'm gonna try to keep this back in the box. That's uh, reason number one. Reason number two is uh, this cigar does not taste good. All you gotta taste is burn metal uh, and some cedar. It's, it's hard to keep it lit. It's hard to smoke. It's, uh, it doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't matter what you pair with. It tastes bad. You got to keep washing off your palate. It's not an enjoyable cigar. It's more like I had it. And that's pretty much it. Kind of interesting. So yeah. Uh, internal strength is medium plus gold. <laughs> medium plus gold. Alright. That medium plus. Plus that whatever effect that gold is giving to you. Because it, it makes you feel sick smoking it. So, uh, yeah, at this moment, I can already tell you it's not worth $200 or 250 or 300 whatever the package that you buy. This cigar could have been a good cigar without the gold, though, because you can t taste the underlining note that's trying to get through, but you won't because of all these gold. Um, yeah, it, I'm going to finish up, and we're gonna, I'm going to give you the summary that I already told you. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. I consider this is done. I'm not smoking it anymore. This is done for me. Uh, if you want to see the band, here you go. The band. Marshall, Red, Signature, Daniel right here. This cigar makes you sick. I absolutely hate you, Daniel Marshall. There's no way you can smoke this cigar all the way through with a smiling face. It makes you feel sick. It makes you feel very sick. There's no way. I mean, the concept, okay, pretty cool. This is really for uh, 
for people to collect, for people to put it there for good luck, for people to... This is not a cigar you should be smoking. It makes my lip tingle. All you taste is metallic. A little bit cedar here and there. There's no good part of the cigar that has a gold part, gold on it, okay? There's no good part. So they do release a cigar without a gold, and I, I wouldn't doubt that's a good cigar, but this thing with a gold, don't smoke it. Don't smoke it because it's suffering. You can see my face. I'm like dying here. It's suffering to smoke this cigar. This cigar, I think if you smoke this every day, it will kill you. Is it worth $200, $250? No. I, I give this cigar zero dollar. Zero dollar. If you got to smoke it, zero dollar. If you got to keep it there, okay, fine, whatever. Um, even that, you can make your own with probably five dollar worth of gold. Okay, five dollar worth of gold, you can wrap your own cigar. This thing tastes so bad. I mean, Eric, I love you. We suffer together because um, this is a... Uh, double review so if you want to see eric suffer too go watch his video smoke one if you have one but yeah we 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 suffered we suffered through the cigar for you so that you don't have to if you buy one of these keep it in the box never smoke it it does not taste good there's nothing good about this while you're smoking it uh there's nothing's gonna wash out that taste your liver get tingly you'll feel sick you'll sweat look at look at my face my shiny face it's, I'm sweating. It does not taste good. I cannot say that enough. It's bad. It's bad cigar. Bad cigar. Okay? Bad. Like, did I mention that was bad? It's bad. Okay? Zero dollar as a cigar worth. Zero dollar. Don't... If you buy the cigar, display. Don't smoke it. As a cigar, it's worth nothing. Okay? Do not smoke this thing. Oh, my God. Oof, yeah, it does not make you feel good. I cannot sit still smoking the cigar because every moment I'm suffering. Yeah, that's it for the cigar review. Go over to Eric's channel, watch him suffer. If you want to hear about this celebration, about the FDA uh, lawsuit, make sure to listen to our podcast. Episode 5 is the one that we, uh, we mentioned it. Uh, if you're looking for the link, I will probably put it somewhere in the description. So that you can find a few links. But if you want to find our podcast, simply type in Shadow Smokes Legion Podcast in Google. You'll find a lot of links to various different platforms. We're starting to uh, uploading them slowly to, to YouTube as well. YouTube's going to be more delayed. So if you have Apple if uh, Apple Podcasts, if you have um, Spotify, those are the best place to listen to it right now. Go ahead and listen to those. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next review. If you like this review, like, subscribe, comment. If you don't like it, well, I don't like it either. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.